Okay, today I would like to show you how to make connections from ECAT file with prefabricated cables. Uh, this is the final result what you will get. And um, you know, in this video we will go into in detail uh, how to read the ECAT file. For ECAT routing, uh, you have to prepare a few things. The first thing is you need the ECAT file. The ECAT file defines you know, the connections and how to load the cables. And then we need a channel in 3D, which you will prepare in uh, space cable. And then the cable counterparts. You know, we have to snap the cable to the counterparts. That's why we need them. Okay, the ECAT file has five entries, as you see in the uh, slide, you know. We have the uh, reference designators. You know, we need them uh, to connect the uh, fixed cable. Okay, so this is very important now. Please note that uh, you have to have your fixed cables already defined in your cable library. You know, when we connect uh, wires through ECAT, uh, we create them from zero. But when we use uh, predefined cables, we have to load them uh, from model manager or, you know, as package file. That's why they must already be, uh, you know, uh, in your library. All right, so this is an example of a, a prefabricated cable library. Uh, you all have it in the delivery, you know, you can see it, the example, there are, uh, you know, uh, five cables inside. And uh, now, uh, let's see, you know, what we should do is, uh, this is the, you know, we, we spoke about the ECAT file, now you need the channel uh, and the counterparts for snapping. The uh, channel uh, is, you know, you will do the channel as usual uh, with the uh, Creo uh, space cable. And this is the channel, what I have created uh, for this uh, demo. And uh, also you need to position your counterparts. Uh, you know, these are the counterparts because we have to connect the cable ends to the counterparts. So you have to, you know, put them uh, beforehand into your model. The counterparts uh, must have a certain uh, coordinate axis. Uh, you know, you can see it in this slide. That's all you need uh, to define the coordinate axis. So what is the process for prefabricated cables uh, ECAT routing? The first thing is you should read an uh, ECAT file. In the ECAT file, you have all the connections defined. Then uh, we have to see if all the counterparts which are defined in the ECAT file are available in the model. Then uh, we have to give them the reference designators because when we say we have to connect uh, from one reference designator to another one, we have to know them. Then uh, we can, you know, we should see that all the connections are defined as valid, then create them all as error lines, and finally put all the cables automatically into the channel. As optional, if you want, you know, you can also convert the channel into parallel running wires, but this is an optional case. Okay, so here we have our demo uh, model. Uh, we create, you know, we select the harness. The demo model you can get from us uh, for practicing. Okay. And um, in this demo model, we will create now, uh, this is the channel in the de demo model, you know, it's already there. And the, uh, the counterparts are already placed. Those are the counterparts, as you see. So the channel and the counterparts are already here. So all we have to do is, uh, we have to go uh, to the, uh, you know, ECAT interface, and we have to read our uh, ECAT file uh, to continue. So we go to the interfaces, uh, import ECAT data, select the fixed cable option, and select the uh, example uh, connection list, which is delivered uh, you know, together with space cable. And here you see all the uh, counterparts reference designators. Okay? So they are all uh, at the moment not defined yet. Uh, we have the counterpart models, but we didn't assign them reference designators. Okay, the counterpart models are here. In, in our case, we have to search them in all the parts because they are not in our cable harness. You see here, I said search reference designators in all parts, okay, because they are outside of our harness. So we can also detect them uh, in the you know, outside. So when you select one, you will see a help picture. It's only giving you a hint, you know. Those help pictures we have prepared ourselves, you know, and uh, for our six cables. You can see here, you know, the connector number one, connector number two, okay, and some, uh, you know, so you can, it, it gives you all, just a hint 
uh, what kind of you know uh, counterpart you should be looking for so when we uh, select the counterpart um, you know assignment menu when you click on one of them he will show you that he is looking for this kind of counterpart okay this is the uh, you know he's he's showing us excuse me the counterparts and and shows you that you know this is the counterpart okay and now uh, you can just select here uh, sorry okay you see here this is a uh, this cable is connected you know and not to this one but this one is correct not to this one and this one you see number one will be connected to this one so we know that this number one uh, has a reference designator a name you know uh, this one or you know so we can just simply come here and say this will be my device because I already got a hint uh, that it will be you know uh, this one okay so because if you don't know um, you know it will give you an idea uh, what kind of part so you can go again and select the cable and okay you see this one is the number two okay you see number two so uh, I can go back and select here uh, here you know just uh, select and define here from the reference designator list okay and this one so as I said uh, those pictures give you an idea uh, you know what kind of uh, you know counterpart you should be looking for okay otherwise maybe just by cable name you will not understand uh, you know what kind of uh, counterpart you should be looking for but here you can get an idea you can see that okay for this cable you know I need a counterpart of you know like a round uh, connector and you can just uh, go and you know and see it here you see and then we can just uh, see in the list what kind of counterpart we should be looking for okay like I said this is only gives you some idea and uh, we can just go and select let's see this one for instance okay this is a, a female a USB so it means be you know this kind of part will be this one okay we can just select the uh, USB you know counterpart okay this one uh, we should look also in the uh, list to see you know which kind of counterpart but of course you, if you know your counterparts uh, you know names reference designators you know by yourself you don't need to do this you can just go and without uh, checking the pictures you can just go and uh, select them you know one by one and assign them okay and so this is up to you you know um, some people know uh, you know what kind of uh, reference designator the counterpart should get automatically but we think that it gives you you know an idea uh, that you can see uh, which kind of counterpart um, you know uh, which kind of reference designator this counterpart should get okay so we continue until we have all the uh, reference designators attached to the counterparts because when we know the counterpart reference designator we can automatically connect the cables otherwise you know we will not know uh, where to connect the cable end okay so we continue until we have assigned uh, all the reference designators to the counterparts this is still uh, missing let's say this one and this one will be this one okay and also uh, this one is this one and we still have the USB this is the USB so we have all assigned reference designators to the counterparts okay now when we go to the update function in all parts we see that all the reference designators are found it means now we know all the counterparts and all the uh, entries are now valid they are all listed in the valid entries and now actually we are ready to make the automatic connections because uh, you know the reference designators are here counterparts are known I say connect all and now everything will be connected automatically in the air okay you see now all the connections came because uh, space cable knew uh, where to connect okay these are now airlines okay they are connected from uh, you know in the air 
and the next thing we should do is we should you know put the airlines into the channel which we already have so we go to the uh, or we will go to our channel menu you know see this is our channel it's already there because we have already drawn it and now we go to the uh, wires into channel function and we put all the fixed cables so we select them all and put it to the channel okay so that's all we have read the uh, connections and we have put them into the channel and now they are all inside the channel let's check okay and in this case you can do the channel size and uh, you know you can ask for uh, the thickness of the channel uh, as usual okay and we can inquire uh, of course uh, you know the uh, cable create a report and we can see the cable lengths okay you see all the cable lengths now okay and you can check the maximum length is uh, kept uh, we don't you know have uh, over length issues okay so uh, that's actually the ECAT file okay and uh, if you want you can also do the uh, automatic uh, you know separation of the wires or, the, or cables on the channel edges let's see you know this this actually uh, is optional you know uh, some people will not uh, want it some people will like to see it depends on you some people leave it uh, on the channel uh, some people leave the channel as it is you know they don't uh, want to see individual uh, you know cables but some people might say okay you know I want to see them all running parallel uh, next to each other and with this uh, automatic on channel function you will get the uh, your uh, you know you will get your fixed cables now running uh, parallel to each other maybe for some people uh, this is just um, you know important to show